Så nu kidde så högt ur sin självbiografi. Did you see what we were rabbis? That's us as rabbis. Hej, ja, i vår så släpper ju Red Hot Chili Peppers sin nya platta Stadium Arcadium, en dubbelskiva. Du helt säkert kommer få höra tills öronen blöder innan det här året är slut. Däremot så passerade den här oförtjänt obemärkt förbi när den dök upp här om året. Nämligen Anthony Kiddis självbiografi Scar Tissue. En riktigt, riktigt bra bok oavsett om man gillar Chili Peppers eller inte. Förutom då om bandets brokiga karriär så berättar Anthony på ett nästan obemärkt obehagligt naket vis om sin tuffa, minst sagt speciella uppväxt i Los Angeles. Vi packade med boken och åkte till West Hollywood. Your autobiography? Oh, no, I've already had lunch, thank you. Yeah, you have it. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, let me just make sure that there's no half-truths in here real quick. I mean, what, what, what reactions have you got? Oh, geez, Louise, I can't believe what they put in here. Um, the reactions? <laughs> Did you see where we were rabbis? That's us as rabbis. I don't know if you can actually see that, but we're rabbis for a day. Yep. Um, what, what, what kind of reactions have you got from it? Uh, it's very odd, you know? It's very odd. I, I appreciate the fact that it seems to have had um, some kind of a, a useful impact on people. The reactions I get are, you know, thank you for writing that. I needed to hear it. It was very helpful. I can relate. Um, so I feel good about that. But it's also a little bit unsettling when somebody comes up and they're like, hey, I just read your book. And you feel kind of, you know, like you want to guard yourself because they know a little bit too much about you. Like me now? Like you now. And, and it wasn't something I was thinking about while I was writing the book. As I was writing the book, I did not stop for a moment to think, somebody might read this. And if they read it, they're going to know way too much. I just wrote it as though no one was ever going to read it. And, and now I have to deal with the consequences, but such is life. It's got tissue that I wish you saw. Side captain, Mr. Know it all. I'll close your eyes and I'll kiss you, cause with the birds I'll share. With the birds I'll share, it's love you. Back in the days when you were a teenager, uh, it seems like most of your best friends uh, were in bands. But how come it took you so long to end up in one? Because, I mean, you didn't form Chili Peppers until some years later. It didn't take me that long. I mean, in, in, in the big scope of the big picture, you know, I, I really only waited for about four years of hanging around bands before I became a band to hang around. Yeah, but four years, I mean, what, how come you didn't learn any instruments during that? I mean, because since you were around those great musicians. Yeah, I don't know. They never suggested it, you know. I, and, and perhaps I didn't seem to have any obvious musical talents. They're like, uh, you know, let's kind of don't give him an instrument because he doesn't really seem to have a knack for that. Um, you know, and I was distracted doing other things. I was, I was busy honing other skills that would later be very helpful for writing songs, like pain and suffering. Ja, medan hans kompisar finslipade Chili Pepper soundet i andra band så var Anthony Kiddis fullt upptagen med pojksträck i den grövsta skolan. Och då inte minst droger. När Anthony flyttade från Michigan för att bo med sin far i Los Angeles var han fortfarande bara barn. Det var 70-tal och när han redan som 11-åring blev introducerad till den förföriska knarkvärlden då var det just av sin egen pappa. Sen dess har Anthony provat alla substanser som finns och under perioder varit riktigt, riktigt illa ute. Men musiken då? Ja, den fanns alltid nära men det tog som sagt några år innan Anthony hittade sin naturliga plats i ett band. Och när det väl hände så var det den här låten som öppnade upp dörren. It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep them going under. <laughs> It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep them going under. I was so excited when I heard the message 
you know, and, and I liked the tone of their poetry. You know, it was very sort of street-based, and I was very much a street-based urchin at that time. And um, it kind of inspired me. I was like, I can do that. I can do that. And if, the, you know, if I can make people feel the way these people are making me feel, I'd be happy about it. During the first years of Chili Peppers, you did most rhymes. But since the years are going, you start to sing more and more. When did you find the confidence to, to sing? I haven't found it yet, but I'm still looking. Um, you know, a funny thing happens when you start off as a rapper. You know, you create this bigger-than-life character, and that becomes the basis for, for most of the rhymes and the songs that you're writing. But eventually that gets boring, because the character is old and tired, and you've kind of exhausted all the possibilities that this this entity you know can sing about and then you start thinking about maybe some some more sincere ideas that are not coming from an alter ego but that are coming from yourself I got a bad disease All from my brain is where I bleed Insanity it seems It's got me by my soul was it a long time plan thing to do this or how did it come about the book mm -hmm. uh, was not a long time plan um, I initially it started off I just wanted to talk about the 70s of growing up in a very bizarre environment with my father near the Sunset Strip in Hollywood it was a very explosive time for culture and music and fashion and, and lifestyle and I thought, you know, this is an interesting scenario with the father and son both being, you know, kind of wild and crazy people. And, uh, and then it turned from that into an entire biography. And then I realized, okay, there's really no place to start or stop than the beginning and the end. And, um, and so, you know, I, I bit off plenty to chew on. Getting born in the state of Mississippi Papa was a copper and a mama was a hippie In Alabama she was swinging a hammer Price you gotta pay when you break the panorama She never knew that there was anything more than gold Just another way to survive Do you mind read a little bit, a little part for me? Uh, what page? Uh, 136, I think it is. Okay, so 136? I think that's, that's, I think that's yeah. where it is. Yeah. Okay, so this is Flea talking to Anthony. Um, I think I had just woken up on the floor of an, of an empty office, in an office building, and Flea says to Anthony, um, I can't do this with you anymore, you're too fucked up. I gotta quit the band. I woke up because that wasn't what I was expecting him to say. I thought he'd say, dude, you're a mess. We got to talk about, uh, we got to talk about you not getting quite so high anymore. But when he said he had to quit the band, all of my cells reverberated and I bolted up. That was the first taste of the fact that I could be destroying the dream we had created of this amazing funk band that was all about dancing and energy and sex. I wanted to be in that band with Flea more than anything. But how could I communicate that to him? Then it popped into my mind. Flea, you can't quit, I pleaded. I'm going to be the James Brown of the 80s. How could he argue with that? How could he? He couldn't. He had to reconsider the whole thing. It bought me another day. All right, then. Yeah. But do you feel that you managed to be like James Brown of the 80s? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was just a crazy, preposterous, you know, stupor-induced moment. But in some ways, I think you... Um, I mean... You know, I um, flabbergasted by the existence of James Brown and the amount of music that he created, and so much energy and so much beauty and everything he did. Um, so yeah, following in the footsteps a little bit, but you know, nobody could be the James Brown of any decade. 
except for James Brown. Or, or somebody who is completely delusional. Who now? What does it mean? What did they say? Where are they from? What do they eat for breakfast?